ABS operation. Remember to follow safety protocols, eye protection, ear protection, and protective clothing. Remember to chalk the tires if you're going to engage the air system. Be sure in the electrical operation that you verify the brake and auxiliary circuits. They're needed to operate the ABS system. The following topics will be covered in this video. All major ABS systems since 2002 work with the Inspector 920. Updates for the 920 software can be downloaded from the LightCheck website. There are four yellow buttons that correspond to operating the ABS. To start reading the ABS unit, press the ABS button. It usually takes anywhere from 15 to 30 seconds. Then it will identify the ECU model and configuration, and it will display the number of current faults when done. The tester will identify the ECU manufacturer automatically. To select a menu item, press the Select button. To investigate further, press the Select button again. To back out of a menu item, press the ABS button. The first option is View Active Faults. You can scroll up and down through the active faults to see the varying active faults, and pressing Select again will show you the help text for the active faults. The help text can help you identify what steps need to be taken to repair an active fault. Remember that active faults indicate current faults with the ECU. Stored faults work the same way as active faults except that they indicate an event that happened in the past. The next option will allow you to clear faults. Some ABS units do not allow you to clear active faults. The next option is mileage. That will show you the odometer reading of the ABS unit. Pressing down from mileage will give you the second page of options. ECU voltage shows you the voltage at the ECU. It's important to check how much of a voltage drop there is. An excessive drop of one volt or more across the trailer can indicate corrosion, bad connections, or a drain from equipment powered by the auxiliary line. This is very important when towing more than one trailer because voltage drops accumulate across all the trailers. Then you have the manufacturer's configuration. After that is the serial number so you don't have to go under the trailer to get it. And then we have the special functions. The wheel speed special function shows you the wheel speed data from the sensor at the wheel. It'll show you the current and the max speed of the wheel so that you can go turn one and see which sensor is hooked to which wheel. The next function is the voltage test. This will turn on all the lights and show you the supply voltage versus the voltage at the ECU. If the voltage at the ECU is below 10 volts, the ABS unit may not operate correctly. If your company uses PLC tags, then the last option will show you that tag number. Thank you for choosing LightCheck, and if you have any questions, give us a call.